What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today in JP, everybody got 9S completely from free from the login event. And something that was actually pretty damn cool is that we also were able to get his five star weapon completely for free, which is pretty nice. That is pretty dope. Now I haven't leveled him up. I haven't done anything with this character. I mean, he is a support character and he is 100% physical and he's going to be a part of your near team. And I thought we'd just take a look at his skills and show you guys the wackiest signature move I've ever seen uh, from any of these characters. This thing is freaking wild. Uh, let me back out here. There we go. Let me let me show you this thing. This is weird, right? Well, we'll just take a look at his skills. And something that's funky about this guy is, you know, he uses a sword, right? That's his main primary weapon. He's a melee attacker. But when it comes to his skills, he doesn't use the sword. Now, the red orbs, as you can see here, there's a little bot that comes out and he shoots a beam right out whenever he does those red orbs. Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? Whenever he does his blue orbs, the bot comes out and throws out this big healing bubble. Whenever you're in the bubble, you actually get healed, which is pretty cool. And every time you do a three orb, you'll see over in the right here, you'll get this little icon with this little circle around it. And whenever you hit that sucker, he always does this, no matter what color you do. Like if I do a three ping blue, right? And then I hit the blue again, it'll do it again, right? It doesn't really matter. And you can just keep doing it. I think that's pretty much his core passive. Any three ping and then the same color is going to show up again. And then you can do all those multiple hits all at once. And his blue orb does a little slam, which is kind of cool, right? Now, whenever you do his signature move, let's go ahead and do his signature move here. Watch this. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen from any signature move in the game. Check this out. He shoots a little beam out. Now, look at this. What is going on? So the idea is to take out these things right here. You're actually hacking the system and you want to take these out right here, right? And once you take them out, he does this little explosion <laughs> afterwards, which is pretty funky. I mean, I don't have all the quirks of 9S figured out at all. I just got the character and I was just coming in here and I was like playing around and testing him a little bit. And uh, that is one wild looking freaking skill if i ever seen one that signature is so goofy it looks like it does decent damage but you know i think as far as uh the near team is concerned when it comes to 9s i mean he's mainly just going to be a support character right he's just going to be a character to have on the team to help do some more damage for your other characters like from his past especially when you level him up get him up to double s uh that's where he's really going to come very very useful We'll do this signature again. This thing is weird. This is so weird. And you're just trying to avoid uh, getting hit from these. Like, yeah, you don't want to do that, right? It's so funky. And it really does kind of go along lines with uh, Nier Automata, the game. Because, I mean, that is his thing. He's a hacker, right? And he's hacking into their system whenever he's doing that. So, that's pretty damn funky. <laughs> it's pretty freaking funny that he does do that. And his basic attacks... Where's my guy out here? There we go. His basic attacks throw out the sword. Pretty cool. He actually is controlling that sword. Look at that. It's not even in his hands. Really wild. I wonder how far away this thing will actually work. Oh, okay. And the red one here, that shoots a long, long way. The yellow one. Yeah, the yellow one's gonna short be a short range attack. And the blue, I'm sorry. The blue's got some decent AOE on it, but yeah, it'll be real interesting. I mean, more than likely, I'm probably just going to use the character as a support character. Probably won't play him a whole lot, to be perfectly honest with you guys. But I wanted to show you that signature because that thing is funky. That is one wild freaking signature if I ever saw one. And also, as I've been progressing uh, through this here, through the story mode, this here was unlocked. And I actually was able to, to get 9S here and get these memories for him and this sword. And the cool thing is, whenever he shows up, and then later on you'll get 2B as well, you can actually start adding them to the team, which is pretty funky. So whenever I enter here and you hit her enter, you can actually bring in 9S and actually start using both these characters. So eventually whenever you get 2B, you can actually play with her as well and use all three of these characters together, which is pretty cool. That is pretty damn lit. And as far as A2, I didn't mean to click all the way out of there. 
as far as A2, I'm still working on getting uh, enough shards for her. I've got 7,000 of these babies right now. And that means I can get 35 shards. So I still need to get some more of these tokens. That way I can get 15 more of these shards. That way I can get A2. But the progression has been really, really good. Been really awesome on the free-to-play account. Uh, it's been doing really wonderful, guys. So let me know what you think about 9S's signature move. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. June 2 plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.